Hello, welcome back to WREW. We got Smokescreen in the house with us today. Yes, sir. All right, so now I want to first introduce you guys to their music. They got a very cool kind of um, hip-hop meets electronica kind of sound. Just started off with the first track off their newest album, Return to the Sun. This one is called Eternal Flame. When I entered the game and I came in with less than a cent Had to make all these shapes out of paper mache Then I say what I made for the rent I remained in my best when I just have a train With no stress for the states to the next Had to wait through the rain when it came through the train But I stayed out of ways getting wet While I drop fast and at the end of the class Repetitive trash days don't find a black bag Try cold pass the dash to drop fast When they see the gold flash they ask for the whole stash Seen a lot of bad Witness the witnesses, witness the quick with the quickness in Seen a lot come back One thing for instance is nothing consistent, consistent is See the flame in it's lit from a place in the distance Away out of space on the ship Wanna pay for the gifts, but I'm making a wish for the game Cause you're taking a trip When the race will exist, would you skip on the tip Then I just need to stay from a quick like this Many days in the pits, when you just need to lift And the race to the grace to persist Raindrops look at when the flame gets fed Pink is can, it's soul to the man With the image in his head transferred to the hands See the vision and exhibit creativity on the sort of canvas And I see the cleave in my transit Boss down to Austin and call Los Angeles Fire ignite with no soul, but eternally glow As it grow when we light up the glow Glow, glow, glow Eternal flame, keep on burning Burning, burning, burning Eternal flame, keep on burning. Eternal flame, keep on burning. God, God, God. We keep on burning this eternal flame. Yeah, yeah, feel like we came back from the dead. Still smoke, still feel like a smack to the chest. Still match up a show spectacular set. How you gonna draw blood from Dracula back? Picking up dust, my train to be muddy. I just wanna stay on point like P-Money. Gorilla glue got my eyes a bit bloody. MDG can be a big gully. Hot like eternal flame. Drops of that purple rain. Popping cause I'm glammed up. And that's how I shall remain. Never bend, I never sway. Burn forever and today. I can show you how to do it, but you gonna have to pay. I know, feel like only some of y'all woke. Now, a lot of y'all hear me, but a lot of y'all won't. I'm a real icon, I'm a real life guy. That's word of the squad, H-I-I-Y. Can't put it out, so why, why try? Been here, many moves, no fly by night. Keep burning this flame that shines so bright. It's MDG. Oh my, my, my. Oh my, my, my. Smoke screen with another one. And we still number one. We gon' do it to death until there's nothing left. And we make our return to the sun. This flame is eternal. This flame is eternal. You never gon' stop it. You touch it or burn it. Eternal flame, keep on burning. Eternal flame, keep on burning. Eternal flame, keep on burning. We keep on burning this eternal flame. So that song you just heard was Eternal Flame by Smokescreen off their last album, Return of the Sun. It was released earlier this year in July. I got them both here. Mind introducing yourselves real quick? Yo, yo, what's up? It's Tommy, a.k.a. Chemist. Yo, this is Mook the God. Mook the God, 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 God. So what were going through y'all's minds when you made that track in particular as far as either the production end or the lyrical end? So that one was produced by uh, Uno Wa, a producer out of Paris, actually. And uh, I guess that we had the, the instrumental first and then came up with the concept for the track Eternal Flame, just, you know, continuously doing this for so many years and never having any uh, vision of stopping at all. So that was kind of just, you know. Yeah, it was, I, I think it was also like kind of grime influenced as well. Uh, so a bit of a grime aspect to it. And, you know, as far as it, the style and the energy of the track, mm-hmm. you know, yeah, we just sure. kind of got that vibe off of it. Indeed. Yeah, so how did you guys meet up even with a producer from Paris? So we've released music over the years on a label called Collective Resonance, based out of the UK. And uh, Uno Wa has released stuff with them as well. So it's kind of like a, a connect through them, for real. So how long have you guys been making music together? 
10, ten years, years actually. Yeah. This is the year number 10. <laughs> yeah. So we started Smokescreen in, in, in 2007 and, uh, we've been, you know, creating under that moniker ever since. So yeah, 10 years. And how'd you guys first meet? Uh, we've been friends a long time. Um, like grade school. Yeah, we were probably friends 10 years before Smokescreen even started. And then, <coughs> um, this dude Mook moved to Virginia for all four years of high school. And he was recording music down there, and he would send stuff up, and we would send stuff. I would send stuff down to him that I was working on uh, with our dude, my dude Skyler, and so we would kind of like remix each other's stuff and send it back and forth. And then he moved back to Cleveland eventually, and we just yeah, it didn't take long. Yeah, like a year that, later, yeah. we were like, "Yep, let's do it." <laughs> so, just curious, because I'm from the D.C. area, what part of Virginia did you move to? I was in Richmond. Yeah, for sure. Gotcha. Was that like a bit of a culture shock going from Cleveland? It was. To it most certainly was. I was like, my mom was like, we were going to move to Virginia. And I was like, why? <laughs> you know, it's like the capital of the Confederacy, whatever, what have you. And then, you know, even though that, with that being said, it, it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. But it was most certainly a culture shock, you know. Especially, I would just imagine like, because mid Cleveland you got that Midwestern, more kind of friendly type vibe. Right, but... Virginia was surprisingly like a mixture of like, you know, obviously like some below the Mason Dixie living, but it also kind of felt surprisingly East Coast to me, you know, so I don't know if it's because it was like closer to New York or whatever, but I don't know, it was like a mixture. So how do you guys balance your uh, your day jobs with your music? That's a good question. I don't know. We've been doing it so long. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's kind of like, I mean, we... We just, I guess our work schedules are, like, based around what we have to do. I mean, we kind of, like, yeah. built it to be that way, you know, so it doesn't really conflict too often. Like, I was at work right before I came here, you know, so, <laughs> like, I mean, it's just, you know, you kind of just build that around the music schedule. Pretty much, yeah. And late, what, a lot of late nights, for real. <laughs> and what is your guys' like, music schedule? Pretty much, like, late nights. Uh, yeah, evenings and stuff like that where yeah. there's more events, more uh Meetings and creating and, uh, you know, studio sessions and stuff typically take place at night for us. Yeah. A lot of times, yeah, like the, the writing process and recording process will, will be at night, you know, sometimes till the sun comes up, you know, like overnight, graveyard shift style. Yep. So what kind of artists influenced this last album? I know you mentioned a lot of grime artists. Mm-hmm. So like Dizzy Rascal and Skepta? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like artists like that. Um <coughs> I think, like, as a duo, Outcast is always kind of, like, right there for us as, as we keep that pretty close to us. And Redman and Method Man. Yeah, absolutely. Um, classic duos. Yeah, classic about duos. But but uh, being Clevelanders, Bone definitely for sure. influences us a lot. With, um, like, the rapid fire flow style stuff. Mm-hmm, yeah. The double time stuff, yeah. There's some of that triplet stuff as well. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So I notice when reading up, like, a lot of times people talk about the Cleveland sound, like, what does that mean? Because as someone from Washington, D.C., I'm just not really <laughs> familiar with that. I guess the best thing I could think of is, like, the Bone Thugs and Harmony right. would be the best reference. Right. I mean, I, I, just about anybody who's made it big out of Cleveland has had their own unique sound, such as, like, Kid Cudi and, you know, Bone Thugs and Harmony and stuff like that. So, like, you know, uh, just a more fast flow, I'd say. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think there's anything about the city that kind of fosters that kind of sound? I think so, man. Um, everything from, like, the weather. I was just going to say definitely yeah. all four elements, you mm-hmm. know, because Cleveland is a city that it gets to experience all four elements, and uh, Cleveland winters are particularly known to be, you know, somewhat harsh or just, you know, rougher. So, you know, that kind of builds character and, you know, adds to the, you know, the Cleveland mystique. Yeah. And I guess it's also that kind of decaying Rust Belt city. Exactly. Well. exactly. 100%. Yeah, for Which sure. has its beauty as well. Mm-hmm. All right, so I want to play another track off you guys' last album. This one's specifically more about the city of Cleveland itself. It's called Uptown Master. All right. Thank you. 
when you let it in. Looking out the window for the view you can use for the medicine. Heaven sent meditate to it with a heavyweight mood that I choose for the benefit. Never get glued to the men you approve, but they send you the food will be better than. Ready for the tunes that we giving you the cruise for the future to move through the measurements. Uptown living and we shut down the block. Bus round vigilante cut out the lock. Touchdown and we spit it right off the top. Trust y'all, we giving it everything that we got. On the app posted, magnanimous roasted, midnight coasted, been tried to potion. Deep nights in the sea heights with extreme nice words put together. We keep lights for peace pipes. Downtown till we get downtown. Downtown, midtown, what now? Uptown, downtown till we get downtown. Downtown, midtown, what now? Uptown, downtown till we get downtown. Get down midtown. What now? Uptown. Uptown. It ain't where you from, it's where you at, like any destination on the map. Staring at the sun, I just begun to wonder exactly how I'm gonna make it back. Trials and tribulation, stimulation, meditation, based on your location. There's no replacement for a moment wasted, just take your time and work on your patience. Big yard living came straight off the block. Take that with me, cause I'm not home a lot. Switch time zones, be right on the dot. I'm still me, if you like it or not. I just wanna thank my region, cause it made me hella seasoned. Eastside soil harvested is plentiful and marvelous. Countdown to begin downtown. Downtown, midtown, what now? Uptown, uptown. Countdown to begin downtown. Countdown, midtown, what now? Uptown, uptown. Countdown to begin downtown. Get down, midtown. What now? Uptown, uptown. Countdown to begin downtown. Downtown, midtown, what now? Uptown, uptown. Countdown to begin downtown. Countdown, midtown, what now? Uptown, uptown. Countdown, down. Get down midtown. What now uptown? Hope you stay off. I mean, probably probably won't show nothing beforehand, but I mean, like, you know, that would be a feedback. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, that song you just heard was Uptown by Smokescreen. They're joining me today in the studio. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that uh, that outro on that last track was actually, that was us walking into our first show we ever did 10 years ago, and we, like, pressed up a bunch of merch ourselves, and we were trying to figure out, like, or trying to, like, being hopeful about selling some, some merch. So that's what that... Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. And actually, throughout the record, there's a bunch of little Easter egg things like that just from the past 10 years, little, like, sound bites from videos throughout the years and stuff like that. So what was that first show like for you guys? Man. That was in Buckley, Michigan, dude. So like, wait, the, wait. yeah, Buckley, Michigan. <laughs> Buckley, Michigan. It was like it's like real, yeah. seven or eight hours from here. Real small town. We did like a a small show at Peabody's here in Cleveland with Mook's uncle Ace and a couple other guys, kind of like a big collaborative set. And there was someone in the front row, our dude Doc Remedy, and he saw us and booked us for our, the first smoke screen show, which was just the two of us, you know. And it was at this this bar in Michigan, and. It was weird, bro. Um. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, you know, and obviously with us being, you know, kind of new and fresh on the scene and stuff, and that was, you know, far from our comfort zone, like, yeah. it was an interesting experience. It was a weird, yeah. more, like, rural bar. Like, that, like country like, as country, hell. Country, like, yeah. honky-tonk <laughs> style bar. With, how how yeah. did the honky-tonk bar receive? <laughs> um, they were surprisingly like more receptive than i thought they would right. be but they were still cold and that people were allowed to still like smoke cigarettes indoors at that time so <laughs> it was a smog box and it was it was just, weird it was pretty yeah. awkward but it was we, like half the bar was not really like there for that and then half the bar was there for it you know yeah, what I mean? but we made we made the best of it and we uh we had a good time anyway so how did you, you mind repeating so how did you guys <laughs> have your first gig three hours away from your hometown so we did a show it was this the group was called The Slick, and it was Ace, Mook's Uncle Ace, our dude Marcus, uh, and then us and a couple other people. And we did this show at Peabody's, which is no longer standing here in Cleveland. And in the front row of that show was a dude who booked us for the, the following show. And he was like, oh, I liked what you guys did. And so we had Smokescreen. It was like a brand new thing at that point. And so we wanted to do a show as just Smokescreen, the duo. And so he's like, yo, I got you guys. And we're like, all right, let's do it. Where's it at? Oh, it's in Buckley, Michigan. That's six hours away or seven hours away, whatever. We're like, oh, okay, all right. Well, to, to us, that was huge, though. We're no, like, yeah, oh, we thought yeah, it would be cool. we're about to travel, you know, like immediately. Like, <laughs> so it was pretty cool, man. Yeah. So shout out to Doc Remedy, man. <laughs> all right. So what are some other like memorable moments you've had, either in the recording studio 
or on the stage? Oh, man. There were plenty over the past decade. Um, <clears throat> do you have any ones that come to mind? Yeah, we've, we've played the House of Blues a few times. Um, one time we got to play with Black Star. It was just Smokescreen and Black Star on the set, on the show, man. And it was really intense. DJ J Rock was there. It was. High Tech from Cincinnati. Yeah, High Tech was there. Jay Rawls, like a bunch of like like legendary hip hop dudes that I've always looked up to, were that we're like on stage watching the Black Star set with these guys, and like you know the blast comes on, and I'm next to High Tech, and I'm just like, yeah, High Tech, man, the blast, you know, it was really sick. Which and, was our jam growing up, right? Way. Yeah, to us, so. you know, and yeah, just, that was a, a huge moment for us, man. A realization, like, oh man, we can really do this, you know, and continue to do this. Um, we played with Girl Talk uh, at. The Cleveland Cle- Public Hall. Cleveland Public Hall in 2012. It was for the Rock Hall Induction Week. It was the, that was the, the kickoff moment. party for the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame Induction Week, and it was just Smokescreen and Girl Talk, and we played to like, like over a thousand yeah. kids or something, yeah. something yeah. crazy. So, did you guys rap over any Girl Talk instrumentals at all, or was no. it just two separate shows? It was two separate sets. Yeah, like we just opened for him. Yeah, it was all original stuff that we did, and we did like our set, and then he came on and just destroyed it. And then actually, we did an after party. At Grog Shop, immediately following that show, so we did the show. Girl Talk played. Then we rushed over to Grog Shop and played a, a sold out uh, after party. Like DJ'd and like had the whole place just go up. And then Girl Talk himself came out to that party and stuff. Oh my god! So it was yeah, it was that was one of the like a uh, uh, really exciting moment for us that day for sure. Um, what else, man? What else? I remember we played with Das Racist at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Yeah. Um, was that also another rock hall event? Yeah, that was yeah, that was for the or rock hall the summer in the city event. Okay, it was a do. different rock hall thing, but it was a rock hall thing, and uh, yeah, and they're, they've since disbanded. You know, well, they disbanded shortly afterwards, but uh, you know, it was a really interesting time, and it was at the peak of their uh, success or, or popularity, I believe. And I don't know, we just we kind of gelled with them pretty well, and it was an interesting uh, exper- experience performing, like on the front, like fuck front steps of the uh, rock hall yeah that's interesting especially because douse races has such a different style because they're more like comedy right it was like comedy (laughs) hip-hop type right and our stuff was a little bit more straightforward but but it's still it's like electronic hip-hop yeah exactly kind kind of fit like strangely enough like it was a good fit you know yeah so do you guys when you're opening for someone like girl talk do you try to change your set list or do something different than we do open for someone like a john wayne Sometimes we do kind of like tailor our sets, like depending yeah. on what type of uh, event or whoever we're opening up for. You know, it's like we we've, we've been known to do that and just kind of put special things in our set. You know, depending on who. Yeah. You know, to wrap match over the like energy. like yeah. a certain instrumental or something to, that would might fit more on that show. But you're always getting a smoke screen set when you see us open for somebody, though. You know, it's not like we like try to like emulate somebody. Yeah, it's always us to you know, for sure. But we just you know throw a little extra surprises in there though, depending on you know what type of show it is. All right. Now, speaking of a smoke screen set, would you guys be down to freestyle a little bit? Oh, uh, we'd love uh, to. Yeah. <laughs> we'd love to. Yeah. All right, cool. So let's start off with a little um, organized noise beat. Wow, I hey. love organized noise. Killer keeps it. Oh, now you didn't say the organized noise beat. You just yeah. said an organized beat, but this is the beat right here. Yeah. It's almost Thanksgiving too, you know. Shout out to the soul food. Yeah, it's moved to God and Canvas, aka Broken Keys of the Smoke Screen Camp, baby. You know what I'm saying? Return of the Sun available right now. Stream that if you like. Hey. Hey, vote in the morning and I'm waking up about the bed. I rip, I, hey yo, I rub my head, I'm thinking, well, it's moved to God and I just take a peek up out my window wondering who is that staring, I don't know, but ever since though, that one day when I walked down the street, he said, hey, remember me? I said, no, not luckily, but then I, I keep my head about me. I keep my wits about me. You know it ain't no doubt in this, cause it's smoke screen. Smoke screen be up in this and that's how we roll You know how it goes and we stopping and we shoot the free throw We got to hit that, listen up and we split that Roll that, now you know that Listen up as I flow back and forth And then we come around to represent this one in the afternoon But still we getting it ripped Yeah, yeah Gotta tell them how it goes And listen up and all of the boys Up in the spot we rapping over organized noise Hey, my mind won't allow me to not be curious But I'm a little off beat, but I'm still serious Yo, peace to CeeLo, you know how we roll It's smoke screen, fool, don't be like that Cause it's the 
the camp. You know that we just lit up like a lamp at one o'clock like some champs. It's a championship town. So how you like me now? Hey yo, I miss Kyrie, but still throw the hammer down. Yeah, that's right down Euclid, rep South Euclid, but Cleveland anywhere we universal. It's smoke screen, and you know it's universal. Smoke screen. Universally connected over rhymes when I'm inspecting all these things like you could think about less and you don't forget this while I'm flowing now. I gotta tell them, listen up, just look. I open the book and then I'm repping at WRW with Matt Hook. And that's how it goes now when I'm gonna step into the spot, but listen up because we rock off of the top and I will do this like this and like that. Smoke screen, we write raps for 10 years and keep on going, Jack. I'm about to roast some endo right now. Put it in a cloud. Yeah, I had to sing it because I always had to dream it. Move to God, I'm coming through a night, never singing. Hey, nah, but yo, peace to OG. Yo, it's MDG in 2017. Yeah, yeah, this beat is so fresh. I thought I was Andre 3000, but I'm maybe a little less. But y'all, maybe a little twist. And yo, maybe I give you a little of this. Move to God, come through, I said it without no lisp. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Whoa, whoa. Yo, 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 yo. That's fun. That's a little exercise. Yeah, we like to keep it, you know. That was a little light work. But yeah, man, that was definitely uh one of the most classic beats of all time. So yeah, shout out to you for your beat selecting skills. You feel me? Yeah, that's a you can't really go wrong with that like nineties <laughs> yeah. Atlanta stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, not at all, man. We was raised on that kind of stuff, even though we was up in here playing around, you know, but mm-hmm. hey, it's still it's, it's fire always, always ready to go. All right, so I got another um and actually, off that same exact Goody Mob album, you want to go ahead and what? do another yeah. freestyle? Yeah, let's kick it. Yeah, we can, go, we can go all day. <clears throat> that was just what we just was rapping on. This is that soul food. I knew it could, the only thing, the other thing it could have been was that soul food, but it is almost Thanksgiving, so. Yo, it's that intro, right? Yo, so food. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Look, one in the morning, and I'm opening up my eyes, telling them how it goes down, but looking up, realize. That it's just this, it's just that, it's just ra- it's just rap, it's just that. How we put it down, just like that. Come on, tell them what it is, and I'm gonna pass this. My dude moved to God, and he go smash this. Hey, I'm gonna smash this just like a Thanksgiving plate. I got no chitterlings, I got the pork steak, I got the collard greens, macaroni and cheese, and cornbread, all going straight to the head like a burner. Grape Swisher, yeah, call me Mister when I'm coming through. You know I had to get the lister green, cause I keep it clean and serene on my mind every time. Yeah, I can't forget the paprika. Yeah, coming through with the seasoning. Come and get your soul food every single evening. Every single evening, or every single season, it goes from spring to summer to fall. The winter, we telling y'all that we put it down. We dribbling the basketball just like LeBron. And December 30th, what you think about it? Now you know. While I came to flow, shut them down every single second when we step in the door. Yo. Hey. Every second when we step in the door, I said it before, yo, we got the goodies like the mob coming through. We got that corn on the cob and we got everything you need. Yeah, we on the job and you got to get a plate, put some hot sauce on it like the red hot. Yeah, you know we got this, don't it? Yeah, like it hurts, but we come through and make it worse. Yo, tell them how we do it in this other verse. Yeah, we make whole crews disperse. And when worse come to worse, smooth to God and chemists come first. We gon' shut it down, listen up. Now open up that person, put another snap on my petrol. Listen up, we came to let those know, like let go, yes, go. Low connected like a Lego. Yo, let's go, come on. Yo, let's go to DMV, the area where everybody gon' see. Hey, this is how we do it when I used to live in Richmond. We used to chill and kick it. We used to just whip it in the kitchen. I'm talking about the soul food. I'm talking about watching the movie Soul Food with the dude Q. Psych, his name was Omar Epps 97. Actually, that might have been another movie. Ain't no telling. But anyway, we're keeping it moving. Move to God. Yeah, yeah. Move yeah. to God and Broken Keys. Soul Food. Hey. Smoke screen is 17. Soul Food. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Come on. Everything is for free. Yeah, I was, I was <laughs> can be. I was really trying to refrain from doing that. But yo, shout out Big Gibb. Shout out, you know, what I'm saying Cool Joe. Everybody, you know, CeeLo Green, like, the whole family. Like that album is so good, yeah, but of it's course. never talked about. Well, Dude, Soul Food is slept on. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I would just also like to add though, if you listen, if you go back and listen to like the actual lyrics on Cell Therapy, it's very much so still relevant to this day. Like the totally. lyrics are a lot of that. Just, yeah, it's like. Yeah. Still so relevant to like what's happening in the current climate today's society. That whole album, like, I just remember there's that one 50 second skit on it, uh, Blood. And, I, and I'm just like, oh my God, it's like, 
it's like 50 seconds, but it's like really just hard hitting, relevant lyrics. And I'm like, man, why couldn't they make a four minute song out of that? Oh yeah, because sometimes <laughs> like, that's all you need is just you know just to get that potency in there, you know. Yeah, exactly. Especially when you they had Big Rube telling you know reading his poetry just straight up over those tracks, man. It was some thought provoking content, you know. And of course, CeeLo would just randomly stop the beat and then just go to like a preacher sermon. <laughs> yes, but I mean, shout out to CeeLo though, because he's always saying some profound stuff, even when he's being goofy. I always felt, I always felt like he was really putting like some deep content into his, you mm-hmm. know, singing and raps, and he always has been, even with his more commercial releases. But for sure, but shout, yeah, shout out. out to Gip too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Gip, Baby. yeah all of them. Yeah. Now the one thing with CeeLo though that I've heard is that because of all the, like sexual assault like, mm-hmm. allegations with him is that you know it kind of brings up like do you separate the person from the art right right art from the artist yeah do you guys have any opinion on that like if there's I, an artist who you know is kind of a bad person I mean, you still listen to dude, it dude like right now it's crazy out here especially with hollywood you know like movies that like uh, you'd be into and you're just like damn this is that that's what's really happening like you know oh, of course so i mean to a degree you do have to separate the art from the artist but I'd be lying if I said that it didn't kind of affect how you view the art after that point, you know? I mean, but it, yeah, it I, definitely taints the art, but I mean, you but, know. But to separate the art from the artist is definitely like a, a huge thing. And, you know, it, it, yeah, it's a touchy subject, it honestly. Is. I mean, <laughs> but we do not support yeah, wrongdoing no or hurting people in any shape, form, nah. or fashion, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, of course, so. just because you listen to someone who. Right. You know, thinks bad things doesn't mean you necessarily right. think those yeah, things. Yeah, align with those thoughts. Right, exactly. I know, man. But, uh, yeah. It's interesting because that, like, CeeLo kind of sing rap style, mm-hmm. you don't really hear much of. No, yeah. The melodic, yeah. Like, I mean, his voice is very unique as well. So, mm-hmm. I mean, like, a lot of people can sing and rap simultaneously, but, like, a lot of people don't have, like, his just presence and demeanor right. on a song. Well, even, like, the Gnarls Barkley stuff is so good, you know, like, Danger Mouse. Really is thought provoking as well. Content. Just, so, all of the stuff that he's done throughout the years is just. The stuff with Timbo, like everything he's done is just, yeah, just so consistent. Mm-hmm. So when you guys were freestyling over those tracks, what was going through your mind? Uh, <laughs> that's a good <laughs> or, question. Or was it just kind of like instinct? Yeah, it was instinct. It was instinct, and that was like kind of us just kind of like warming up, like kind of like how you warm up a car during a winter yeah. morning, you know what I'm saying? So we were just kind of warming up, but we actually kind of just like grew up together, like just freestyling and just kind of like, repurposing songs and mm-hmm. kind of just like just you know making up our own like kind of like linguistics and just you yeah. know just putting things in the song format for for the duration of our like 20 year friendship you know so like it's just something that comes really easy to us yeah that's kind of how we speak to each other honestly <laughs> like we just like rap all the time we both make beats so like that's kind of like a test make a beat and she could rap to it it's a good beat like you know what i mean so like whatever and we were doing that stuff before we formed smoke screen as well so i mean it was just only right. by the time, time we yeah. formed smoke screen it was like what took us so long you know so also like how do you choose how you kind of attack a beat like whether mm. like whether you go for a more kind of fast paced flow or if you go for like a kind of slower more laid back style i tend to usually go faster most of the time just like out of a preference yeah but it's also just natural i don't know there's it, that, that's a good question no one's ever really kind of asked about how like what goes on in your head when that's happening because i i don't really know the answer to that we we just personally i just kind of it's like autopilot i just let it go and i know mook sometimes like even with the last two he would kind of repurpose some of like the original song in there and kind of you know take the original flow or like kind of part of the hook or something like that mm-hmm. so like do you guys have lines that you'll use to like kind of like fall back on in a freestyle they kind of have like maybe not for your in but just have going through no, your mind. you know what it's funny it's not like either like it's not even like a bar or like a go-to line or thing it's just like maybe like a go-to word like one word like yeah or like like uh i used to say back in the day like uh what like uh uh, you know how we do yeah, it. Yeah, you know how we do it. Yeah, you or know how we do I'd say, like, you know how we do and it. And I used to say, when I be coming around, I used to say that all the time, because that was like a... It's kind of like a filler, like a, but like... It's like you know, a springboard. So it's like, yeah. when I be coming around, and I was around, but, and I come in around, you know, like, so it's just like yeah. the extra stuff. Nowadays, thing. it's probably more or less like a word, you know? It's like those things that you can springboard just on. Just something so that you can much, insert yeah. into, like, an empty space, basically. But most of the time, it's like, yeah, I don't know, it's like the gears are grinding, so something's going to be coming out, whether you're aware of it or not. And especially with this, because of the time slot, I imagine it'd be harder because 
you guys can't curse. Yeah, so and the, like so that's what I was gonna say. That's also was going through my head was like, all right, don't curse. Not like we like see, overly curse, but that but, makes it easier though when you can just throw a, exactly. a random like you know obscenity in there in between <laughs> right. just to kind of like whatever, just to like you know as like a placeholder. Exactly, you know? that is true. It does like a lot of the times you will hear people in like these kind of radio freestyles definitely falling back on like just like. Uh, I don't have anything to say. Let me just start cursing a lot. <laughs> right. Yeah, right. But it's really, it's like whatever's in your mind at that moment, yeah. you know, and you're just kind of like shaping it into more of like a melodic, like I'm still talking to you, but I'm just delivering it like in a melodic form, you know? Yeah. So it's like not really that different from holding a conversation. Not really, but like especially between us though, like like he said a few minutes ago, like we could we just talk to each other like that. So I don't think everybody is like that, but like for us, that's definitely how it works. Yeah. All right, cool. So do you guys want to go over another beat? Yeah, totally. Yo, let's go. I want to shout out my dude, Ron Gary, too. Ooh. Ronnie D. <laughs> Actually, before I forget, since you guys were talking about that one Paris producer, how do you even, like, collaborate with someone that long distance? Is, I would imagine it would be pretty tough just to make sure, like, he gets the sound you guys are looking for and whatnot. No, not even. Right. Well, he'll send, like, a few beats over. We'll pick which ones we want. We'll let him know. We like these ones. Uh, we'll send maybe a demo version over. He'll be like, oh, that's dope. Or for this particular one, though, there wasn't too much input on his end. Like, you, like yeah, as far just, as lyrical hey, He input, had stuff that was already like. He was he was just like, it wasn't like, oh, you should try it like this over the beat. It was more like, oh, that's dope. Let's roll with that. You know, so. Yeah, it's just stuff he had. But his production is just so so great that it, already. it yeah. worked for us. I don't know yeah. if he made anything in particular, like, custom for us. But, like, it's just he had stuff that we liked and that we thought we could fit over. And. You know, about what, how many, three or four of his tracks made it onto the album? Yeah, three made it on the album, but dude, we had like over ten, like, yeah. demo, like, you know what I mean? Like, we had like over ten joints of his that we, and we like, went down to those three that we chose, so. Yeah. I guess that's one of the benefits of working in this kind of internet age, is you can, yep, m- use beats from a dude in Paris. Yeah, in the language <laughs> barrier, there was really no language right, barrier. Right, there was like the, yeah, you know, Google Translate yeah, was all, everything was, was already all we needed. Everything translated, everything, yeah, we didn't have to do anything. It was tight, too, because like, we were working with him when the Cavs won, and he's a fan of LeBron in Paris, and so he's like, yo, go Cavs, like, hope the Cavs win tonight, like, it was it was cool so how he, we were yeah, like, yeah. Like, he was one of the homies. <laughs> yeah, it was one of the homies, right man, shout to you know? Uno, man. Yeah, yeah for real. That's that's incredible. Yeah, it is. And then, so when we get over to France, we're gonna, you know, that's just another, like, a homie to kick it with then, so hopefully. Are you going over to France? We don't have it booked per se, but like, but it, when we it, do is, <laughs> yeah. it has been something that we've been thinking about. Um, but yeah, when the opportunity presents itself or whenever we make it happen, you know, but, uh, yeah. something that we're definitely looking into, especially after the release of this album and, you know, it's something we're planning. Are you guys planning any upcoming tours? Well, we're Not planning a-, a show at Grog at the end of the year. We don't have a date, but we're, we're going to do another, another local show at the end of the year. Um, and then for next year, yeah, we've got some some spot dates, but spot we don't dates, have any any nothing, tours yeah. right now. No, just spot dates for now. Um, so it's just kind of like not hundred percent set and certain. Exactly. Well, for for touring, yeah, but but for definitely there's shows coming up. Yeah, we got some shows here and there, like ready to go, but um, nothing confirmed to announce yet. But um, but yeah, that's but yeah. definitely the objective is to get some stuff, some stuff string, that we're string some on, things though. together. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We'd, we would love to tour. So yeah, if you're listening to this right now and you're Put you your got boys a van on. and you got like you know some Cheetos and some cold beverages, uh, I don't really care for beef jerky, but I'll still ride in your van and tour with you if you want us to go. Okay. Doesn't take much, man. Yeah. yeah. To As please the rider. Me. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. just um, another reminder for you guys just tuning in. This is. Local hip hop duo Smokescreen. Smokescreen, baby. baby. We got Chemist. And Mook the yep. God, 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 mm-hmm. God, God, God. All right, so I'm going to give you guys another instrumental to wrap over in. Uh, cool. Yo, if you listen to this, just know that we freestyle. This is Mook the God and Chemist of Smokescreen. And yeah, let's go. Ugh. Yeah. I don't even know what this is, but let's go. Some of that sour cream and onion type flavor. Ooh, all up in your ear. Ooh, okay. All up in your. You trying to beat up yeah, a little bit? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But break it down. Yeah. Some two bars of who y'all want to tell me what y'all want to do all something similar to that. I came to rap and that's a fact. But like that, I throw it back and forth and forth and back. Forth and back. Be on the track, move the guy, why you always rip it like that? I say, put the 
box in the headphone jack yeah the yo and drop the track you know that as i flow that now you know way back in the days we came to flow and we gonna do it in the future tense listen up of course we came to represent from the c-l-e-v-e-l-a-n-d hey i'm listening to that new future tape yeah, got the gun it and it's kinda great. Hey yo, you know how I do when I levitate. I meditate. I set the record straight for all you fools that love to hate. That love to hate. Ice cold water keeps me hydrated. Ted, what you wanna do? We made it and I'm great with this. Rhyme scheming thing like I'ma flow, like I'ma throw it back and forth, like back in days, like time machine. Come on. Uh, like a hot tub time machine. Yo, every time I rhyme, you know what I mean. Yeah, I got the jets and they bubbling. Yeah, move the guys, stay out of trouble and stay out of trouble and troublesome. 96 Tupac was what I was listening to back in the day, but I'ma have to represent for every day. Shout out to my crew and shout out to the people, shout out to the primal rage. Uh, uh, back in the days, I was bumping 96 quite bitter things by CK. Why? Why ask why? I'm at the why. Move the guy, come through, I'm so fried. I'm so fried, since why? 2K, why are we so big? But wait, wait, I, can I say that on the air? I don't know, but if I can't, then I will just disguise it with some things that I would like to. Uh, and I would like to do a lot of things, so let me invite you in for a cup of hot cocoa. You know how we roll, bro, every time I hit the hydro. Every time I hit the conus, though, I gotta get another one, and you know that we flowing cold below, like zero. Now tell them how it goes, and listen up, throw on the cape, shout out to Stranger Things, to Bob the Superhero. Uh, I feel like when, uh, Finn Wolgendorf, I forgot his name, but I'm about to go to Hogwarts, and you know that I'm really okay. At all sports. At all sports. I think you meant to say hawking. Now they chicken hawking. Shout out to Mac 10 and we clocking in and out. Like something like the burger spot. Listen, we gonna get it rocking off the top. We burn a lot. <laughs> Yo, we burn a lot. Can't wait to Swenson's open up on yes. Green Road. I'ma be through and I'ma be very throwed. You know how it go. Let me get a large Coke in the galley, boy. You know how I do it. I ain't even over over there at rallies, boy. I ain't up at rallies, nah. I'ma go ahead and get some food from the whole food. Now you know who, roll through, it's the whole crew, known as Smoke Stream, and you know who, shout out to Timmy O2. <laughs> Might as well order food off Amazon, they own everything in the world right now, so I'ma just go ahead and do the two day shipping, you know, move to God, he stays savings and clippings. <laughs> Yo, that's amazing and giveness, giving to this like, giving thanks and thanksgiving, giving all of the thanks to the ham, shout out to Twiz, my man, down in H-Town, get it popping like them, and Hey, I be the sacrificial lamb, move to God come through and this is just another jam. Yeah, this is solid beat picked by my dude. Yo, you know how it be. Yo, I be on the two. On the two, on the one, jamming on the one, having straight fun. Like I said back in the day, but wait a minute, open up, we came to get it popping, son, until we return to the sun. Yeah, return to the sun out now. I said return to the sun out, out now. now. Yeah, you can go and stream it out loud. Yeah. <sighs> Go stream that if you'd like to right now. Yeah, go ahead and stream. Right. Yeah. That was a great job. I noticed you guys switched <laughs> off more on that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, really yeah. We, we call that two bars. So, like, we'll do two bars each, two bars, you know. That's also one of the perks about being in, like, a duo and just having somebody there to just bounce off of. You know, it's just, like, you know, it's just a built-in, like, support system slash, you know, uh, muse. Yeah, so you always Exercise. Have- yeah. You always have someone to kind of bounce ideas off of. Oh, mm-hmm. pretty Just much. Like make yeah. lines based on the other person. <laughs> pretty exactly. much. And yeah, we're yeah. like, you know, we have like two very like different personalities. Obviously we relate and have a lot of common ground, but like, you know, the fact that we are like two very different types of people, it's like, you know, you, you get a well-balanced uh, freestyle. Yeah. So how, how are you guys different as far as style wise? Um, just to put it very simply and very mildly, like I'm more of like a, like up tempo, maybe more like club style, like bass heavy, like low end, just, you know, uh, feel good type of music, you know, something you maybe would hear on the club or the radio perhaps. Yeah. And I think I'm a little bit more like, uh, underground hip hop type, like dusty samples, maybe a little bit more lo-fi, um, bass when it comes to like. Yeah, like our influences or whatever. But he's also very knowledgeable. Like he's a right, he's I mean, a collector. He has a very wide like music collection, like on CD, vinyl, whatever. Um, and so we're very knowledgeable. It's just you know we have our like particular taste. You yeah. Know, so, but like you know, I think we bring our certain flavors. 
mm-hmm. you know, to create this certain recipe that you can't really get without one or both of us together. Yeah, I think we're both, like, we specialize in either ends of the spectrum, but we're both, it's like the circle joint that, like, meets in the middle where, like, we both are fans of everything, but, like, we specialize more maybe, in, you know. Yeah. Right. And I noticed there's a big difference in sound from your, like, stuff from, like, 2000, well, you guys were doing, like, 2007, mm-hmm. where it's, like, very that 90s lo-fi. <laughs> yeah, right. And then your modern stuff, which is, like, like it's a bit more contemporary. Like yeah, a little bit more experimental, contemporary, futuristic. So Primal Rage, which was the label that we were releasing music on in 2007, which was the guy, Doc Remedy, who saw us in that, that show, he th- their label was a little bit more like backpack, like indie hip-hop, underground. So I think that maybe had something to do with the fact... We recorded that with them. like They engineered that for us, so... And plus, that's maybe had something to do that with it. That was the climate in 2007. That's true, too. It know, was just like we were, hip-hop stuff back and then. And we were, you know, you know we were kind of like raised in the 90s when that style of music was prevalent when it was mainstream when it was you know what i'm saying just a bit more uh conscious and just uh yeah like self-expressive it wasn't it wasn't as materialistic you know right or just you know whatever it is evolved into today you know um but yeah we kind of came off the tail end of that era and then it kind of transitioned into our humble beginnings and so we obviously carry that torch with us but as well as you know we blaze new new paths as well you know yeah so you said you think so you think like a lot of you mentioned like you think modern hip-hop is a bit more materialistic uh in the mainstream media but i mean it's also more experimental it's also uh you know just more inclusive i would say you know than it was in the 90s and uh you know so there's uh, there's some upsides too as well but i just meant like in the mainstream oh yeah yeah, the you know. internet blew the doors open on a lot of things. Yeah, yeah. Real. So, yeah. So you can kind of just be who you want to be and be who you are and come as you are more more so today than you could, I'd say, even 10 years ago. Yeah, like a group like Brockhampton 10 years mm-hmm. ago would mm-hmm. not be getting near the attention exactly. that they mm-hmm. are now. Yeah, mm-hmm. totally. I guess that's interesting, though, with the internet, is that you can really find anything, but everything seems a bit more diluted. Right, so, like, right. Um, yeah. Probably because of the accessibility, you know, yeah, it's just like everything is so easily accessible now. I mean, as far as weird, it's weird because collaborations seem to be making less sense, too. Like, I saw, I know Taylor Swift released an album, and it's like a song with future Ed I Sheeran. I saw that. I saw how, that. How does, I don't understand. Yeah. See, you know, like, the one with her and Kendrick surprisingly worked. Yeah. But, I mean, I don't know, Future, I don't know how, I'm not even, I don't know how. He's like, that. Kendrick's a versatile artist. Right, right. Like, he can, I feel like Kendrick, he could be on almost anything and work well. It's kind of like Snoop Dogg. Right, yeah. exactly. But he's a guy you bring Shout in for Snoop. a certain, ad, like, sure. attitude, and he can, like, fit well. But, like, Future is lean, personified as a human being. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's a walking cup of lean, for well, sure. Dude, there's a commercial, a Gap commercial with Future and Cher on it. I don't know if you've seen that. That sounds It's like they're singing fire. together, and she's got, like, the auto-tune on her voice. And, oh, like, they're, like, fire. he has, like, his arm around her, and they're, like, sitting on a stair. Like, have you guys seen that or no? I don't think I've seen it, no. but that sounds fire. Yeah, <laughs> yeah like, Cher, and like, Sonny and Cher, like, Cher and Future. Like, Cher. <laughs> yeah, Cher and Super. Yeah, Super and Cher. That's fire. I'm down. Cher Free and band. Future. <laughs> right, yeah, no, let that sit in for, hey, settle in for a second. Cher right. is timeless. So, you know, Future's just getting his timeless game up. So... I guess, I mean, I guess Future, is he going to be the new person on who just, like, you know how, like, Snoop Dogg. Yeah, the new Snoop, right? I mean, only time will tell. Willie Nelson and Snoop Dogg, right? Like, like where Willie Nelson and Snoop Dogg will both just do, like, the most random things. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Snoop Dogg has a TV show with Martha Stewart. Martha Stewart, Stewart, yeah. (laughs) And that's kind of fire. But, you know, only one of them is a felon, so let's uh, not judge a book by its cover, (laughs) you know? I I love Martha. I, I love that too. Like Martha's yeah. the one. Yep. <laughs> yep. She's the one who can't vote. Snoop can vote. I mean, it's just funny because Martha Stewart, you always think of as like the Someone's super grandma, suburban grandma. grandma. <laughs> Smelling like apple pie and vanilla. Yeah. All the time. But and now she has a show with Snoop Dogg with where Snoop Dogg. Yeah. she'll guest with like Wiz Khalifa and like. It's yeah. like, I wonder though, like, what is Martha Stewart's like old main audience? Think of the Snoop Dogg. Hey, show. she's more concerned about her new young audience, is yeah, what it sounds right. like to me. Yeah, so, yeah. I mean, you know, as she sounds like she's trying to remain relevant. So, you know, by all means, shout out, I guess. Right. That, yeah, that future Ed Sheeran Taylor, I'm going to have to listen to that. They're just yeah, you, you let me know. That. You let yeah. me know. I, yeah, you let me know. I'm out here, yeah, listening to some other stuff. It's just, I mean, 
I have no interest in them by themselves, but like together. Yeah, like together, that does sound. It's like, what could that possibly? Like, what could it possibly sound like? Yeah, like, yeah. like I'm just <laughs> imagining like hey. Taylor Swift breakup song, and then Future going in like I got lean. Yeah. Like I just yeah. don't hey, say well, it. when and you're sad, sharing, like, love yeah. Song. yeah. Hey, if I just broke up with my significant other, I'd probably pour up too. I mean, I don't, I'm not endorsing <laughs> yeah. that. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I was just saying, if you're like a real Future fan. <laughs> All right, so you guys want to one more? Uh, yeah, yeah real quick? sure. We yeah. we were yeah we were made for this. <laughs> All right, I was thinking maybe uh change it up from hip hop beats and uh, you guys know Herbie Hancock? Oh yeah, yeah. Rocky. Yeah. Uh, I was thinking maybe Spiraling Prison or kind of like eighties okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. style thing. Yeah. Okay, Herbie. Hmm. What is it? What? Yeah, let me get some yeah, turn me up, turn me up, turn me up. Yeah, hope to God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just had to let the vibe soak in real quick. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Small screen, Herbie Hancock. Yeah. Ninety one point one. Yeah. Ninety one point one. Yeah. Ninety one point one. When we come through, we having fun. It's Mook the guy. Hey yo, we about to return to that sun. And when we do, we make sure that we strap in in. Because it's really hot, but yo, we going in. But I like a fast tempo with it. But we came to get it. We came to listen. We gon' rip it. In any division, you giving what we living. We living what we be giving. Shout out to the people listening. Hey yo, shout out to me, I be glistening I be so glamorous when I come through and I got the vision Hey yo, me and Broken Keys, yeah we steady tripping Hey yo, we in the uh, studio chopping and chipping Chipping and chopping, chopping and chipping What is this then? Wait a minute, let me center myself in this And then I pump like a piston, not in Wait a minute, shout out to the Cavs then Put it down and we up on the Ave then Shout out to Real McCann, man Hey, yeah Feeling like I just signed with the Blue Note label, but you know that I come through when I got mad cable. I mean, I'm watching A and E and TLC and MTV, but you don't feel me though. But you don't feel me, <laughs> and we gon' put it down. You seeing me? We smoking on that THC that make you wanna bleed, make you wanna bleep out the censorship, make you wanna get, make you wanna flip. Is you feeling it? Yeah, everybody and they mama wanna get some till they get stung. But they don't get it, bruh I'm coming through and I'm swerving while I'm living, bruh And you know I'm in the basement with my coat and hat, bruh Three, my friend, gotta call back, let the time change High stakes, trying to catch in till the crime pays You might raise an eyebrow better, but might not At night back, like you might light up in the basement Tell them how it goes down, but we laced it Like this and shut up to the product placement Hey, yo, I gotta just say this Every time that you play this yeah, just fall back and listen to some Oasis. You feel me? Yeah. Just warn you, it's gonna change up in about ten seconds. Okay. Okay. You yeah. know what? Yeah. Wait for that. Yeah. I'd wait for that. Yeah. Make sure you make sure you set your clocks back. You know what I'm saying? Speaking of the time change, you dig? Fall back. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And now we floating and going, listen up, keep them going. Now we got the motion and keep the commotion rolling, floating. Now we got to open, open, open up and closing, open, closing cases while we blazing. Uh, like a revolving door, we settle the score. Ain't going to tell you no more. Move the God about to put the pedal to the floor. Like I got a sword, like an eagle, like a Lenny Kravitz. But uh, I just got some rips and you know I'm about to crumble. All these haters, every time they talk, I make them mumble like these rappers with the rainbow dreads. Yeah, move the God come through. I'm finna grow some dreads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm fit to know the ledge. Now you know that I'm gonna go ahead and let them know that we gonna go instead. Listen, we gonna flow instead unless we talking to them. Listen up, we heard me Hancock and rock it when I was stopping. It ain't no option. Yeah. Oh, that was perfectly <laughs> timed. <laughs> yeah, smoke screen, baby. It's right. It's right. God. Chemist, broken keys. Now you know it's me. Yeah, potency is what we got. Diplomacy. Now you can notice me. Come on, come on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I just had to smooth it out. I had to put a little extra bass in my voice. You know what I'm saying? Saying, saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Turn yeah, the sun, yeah. 91.1. Yeah. Turn to the sun, 91.1. Yeah. Turn to the sun, 91.1. Yeah. Shout out to Herbie, you know? Yo, 
Yo, shout out for having us, yo. We're Man, really happy to be here. Right? If we Thank freestyle you. anytime, when we leave here, we're going to freestyle the whole way home. Yeah, that's probably and true. Then, yeah, I'm going to wake up tomorrow <laughs> and call them and start freestyling. So. so I know that beat was much different than what you guys <laughs> normally go <laughs> over. So. Yeah. But we love stuff like that, though. Yeah. Like, so we like, do that. Just, how yeah. do you approach Exercise, something man. like completely like out of your comfort zone like it's, that? It's To me, it's just about how like the beat is already speaking the beat already has a story you just have to like kind of translate mm -hmm. you know what the composition is kind of like you know making you feel mm -hmm. and again it's like a lyrical exercise and so like any different style of production yes yeah, it's, it's just it's different for us so i enjoy that yeah see what comes out the challenge it's always yeah. fun yeah i started to you know sing get a little more r&b with it like it's fire so <laughs> Just had to slow it down, smooth it out. I do have to say that, that the fact that you stopped perfectly yeah. right before that, yeah, he, and that was that, that was perfect. Yeah, that was that was because you know why? Because he right. felt the composition. I can feel it coming. Yeah, yeah. It was speaking <laughs> to him. So you know, he just kind of was translating. All right, thank you so much again. This was Smokescreen, local Cleveland hip hop duo. You can check out their album "Return to the Sun" on Bandcamp, yes. and I think it's also available on Spotify, most major streaming. Yeah, Spotify, iTunes, yeah. iTunes Apple Music. Um, and then smokescreenmusic.com. Yeah. Also. All right. Thank you so much. Thanks Thank you, man. Us. For real. Thank you. Thank you guys for tuning in. Hopefully, we'll have them again on the show yeah. sometime soon. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Right. And now, stay tuned for survey class. <laughs>